welcome to my channel. If you clicked on this video, then you're probably interested in tape and extension care or hair care videos. Today I'm going to be washing my hair and sharing about how I take care of my tape and extensions that are from Amazon, which I feel like are not always the best quality and need extra, extra TLC. So yesterday I applied this leave-in potion from Blake Brown. I'm going to be using all of her products in today's video. They kind of replaced all the products that I used to use. So I applied this. This is a leave-in conditioner, essentially. And I applied it as a leave-in treatment and put my hair in a braid overnight. I have a little Diet Coke here with some lime juice. Amazing combo. But when you have tape and extensions, you want to make sure you're taking care of them even when you're sleeping or especially when you're sleeping because you don't want them to get tangled and then you wake up with like really tangled hair and over time it just gets worse and worse. So either put it in like a low bun. I don't like to do a low bun or a ponytail because I feel like it bothers my neck and then I wake up with a headache. So I just do a braid. It's the best option for me. When it's hair wash day, like if I know I'm going to wash my hair the next day, I like to add in either a leave-in conditioner or this pre-shampoo mask. This you're supposed to use on wet hair. You apply it liberally and leave it on for 30 minutes, but I'm not gonna get in the shower, wet my hair, apply it, and then wait for it, like, I'm not doing this. So how I apply it, by the way, this smells, all her products smell so good, but this is my favorite, I think. Out of all of them, it has a really nice musky vanilla scent to it, almost like, yeah, it's milky sandalwood. It reminds me a lot of Lo Labo. Santal, that one, reminds me a lot of that, but I do really love the other ones as well. So I'm gonna apply this on the hair, liberally. Not literally, but liberally. And I'm gonna let that sit for 30 minutes while I sip on my Diet Coke concoction here. I'm just supposed to apply it from root to ends, but on my roots, what I'm gonna apply is a hair oil. I've tried so many different kinds of hair serums at this point, and I feel like a lot of them are pretty good. They're not life-changing. Like if you have alopecia, or genetic thinning, they're not a miracle in a bottle. You gotta find out what the root cause is. But if for whatever reason, your scalp is dealing with some issues and you feel like it could use some TLC, it doesn't hurt to incorporate a hair serum in. So I've tried different ones. I've tried the Boldify one. I've tried the Divi one. I used up a whole bottle. They actually sent me a new bottle and I'm gonna give this to my sister. I feel like she would really appreciate this. I already have the Boldify one that I have to use up and they also sent me the dry shampoo to try out. So taking care of your scalp is very important. Right now, I use hers. I don't use it as consistently as I should. I just started using this maybe like three months ago. So I can't say that I've seen like a crazy difference, but minoxidil, this is what this has, is a studied ingredient to help hair thinning. It was kind of like a side effect that they stumbled upon. They don't know 100% how it happens or why, but it is studied to be like one of the ingredients that actually helps if you deal with like genetic hair thinning, things like that. So I got this, picked it up because for me, I have naturally fine thin hair and there are some areas where I felt like, okay, maybe I can use it. And then hair history, like genetics in my family, both my dad's and my mom's side, it doesn't look good at all. So we're trying to do all that we can. But for my scalp, before I shower, I used, started using a hair oil. This is Healthy Hair from Revive. You can find different kinds on Amazon. This is my most recent one that I'm using. It just has like a blend of really good ingredients in oils. And I apply this to the root. And I don't leave this on. I know some people will leave it on overnight. But for me in particular, my scalp already gets greasy, like really quick. I don't have a really dry scalp. So I don't want to clog my follicles i don't want to overdo it so i just apply it and leave it on for like 15 minutes before i shower so i use that in conjunction with a hair mask and i only leave it on before i shower i do mix it in with different conditioners and apply it to my hair extensions and it makes them feel so duper duper soft everybody's different maybe your scalp doesn't need a hair oil don't feel like you need it but for me this is just what i'm doing right now and i'm gonna see how i like it so i just wanted to share my actual hair care routine in real time like what I'm using. I'm gonna let it marinate in my hair for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and shampoo twice because this hair oil is gonna make my hair greasy if I don't shampoo twice and then I'm gonna condition using the mask. Instead of the conditioner I use the Blake Brown mask. First thing I do when I get in the shower I have this hair towel that I got off of Amazon. It's a microfiber type towel. It's much lighter than a typical towel. Like if I wrap my hair in this, this is just gonna like literally pull my hair back. It's kind of like a hair wrap. I had hair wraps, but all three of them, the little elastic thingy that holds the button down broke. So I just decided to get a towel. And I prefer this because there is no hair tie that can break or like the stringy piece. And I let this sit in my hair for like 15 minutes or so to absorb a lot of the water because when you have tape and extensions in, especially if you have fine thin hair, you don't want them just being weighed down by all that water and pulling on your hair. So I personally wrap it up in a hair towel like this to absorb 
a lot of that water instead of going in with a towel and creating friction and breakage and all of that. So I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for 15 minutes before I move on to my actual hair care routine, post shower hair care routine. Ever since I discovered the Blow Up Professor, I've kind of been using his Trilogy hair care routine. So I would do a leave-in conditioner. I personally did some kind of volumizing product and then finished off with a hair oil. These products kind of work in the same way. So I have her leave-in potion, which I'm gonna use as a leave-in conditioner. And you can apply this on dry hair as well. I've done that before and it didn't make my extensions greasy. I mean, it's kind of hard to make extensions greasy, let's be honest. But I mainly focus this on the extensions. It smells really nice. The spray actually sprays pretty good considering it's a spray because usually spray leave-in conditioners will like spit at you. This one's pretty nice. I wish it had heat protectant qualities in it. It doesn't. That's the only thing I feel like it is lacking. I have this super wide tooth comb and I'm going to use it to gently brush through the hair so with tape and extensions you don't ever ever want to tug on them so what I do is I'll hold it brush out the ends to make sure there's no tangles and then like slowly bring the brush up even when your hair is dry you don't ever want to be like pulling on tape and extensions when you're brushing it because then it can pull on the very gentle hairs that it is attached to on your head and you do not want that so be very careful when brushing it and always always moisturize use masks conditioners as much as possible because hair extensions are not connected to your hair follicles like your real hair they're not going to get oily so you really have to make sure you moisturize and hydrate them and bring life back into them especially especially blonde ones because blonde ones are so processed they always tend to get more dry than colored ones i've noticed so you want to make sure you're doing everything you can to bring that hydration back next i'm going to go in with the glam mousse and this product basically is an all-in-one for me. I no longer use a root lifter because this kind of took place of that and also a thickening spray that I used to use. This helps to thicken the hair and my hair is still very, very flexible. So I'll do one golf ball size, nice and fluffy. I'll distribute it through the hair. I focus on the crown area, not so much on the extensions because I don't feel like my extensions honestly need that volume. Every time I use this, it reminds me of my aunt's house. I don't know what it is, but it like transports me to her house it's so crazy how scents can do that for you they just like bring you somewhere like they're so nostalgic and bring you to a memory i finish off with a hair oil my old flex this is definitely a product i have repurchased and will continue to repurchase because it just it works well you know it seals the cuticles it doesn't really weigh the hair down it's pretty weightless for an oil and it works and old plex is just a really really good brand so if it ain't broke don't fix it i never ever start in the front because applying too much product here is going to make it greasy so i always like start at the ends and then work my way up and towards the front listen i'm not a hairstylist or a hair professional or a scalp professional i'm somebody that has dealt with fine thin hair her entire life i've only been i've been born with so many follicles in my hair that's how god created me and you learn to make it work because you're only gonna have so many follicles unless you get like a hair transplant but you learn to make it work for your hair you learn what products work what make it give it more volume all of that what hairstyles works so i'm just sharing from that perspective i do have tape and extensions now it's the only way I'll get this much volume. I didn't apply a lot. Like, I, didn't, I only did a pack and a quarter. I could have done more, but I didn't want to add too much. And for hair drying, I used to use a shark, and I still use it here and there, but I've realized the shark, I have a few videos on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Somebody said this about the Dyson as well. It takes forever to dry the hair. Like, extensions naturally just take forever to dry, but with the shark, I would have to dry it, and it took forever. And then once it's like 90%, 99% dry, then I use the curling attachments to like curl it so that was like another it took me like basically almost an hour not no i'm kidding not that long but up to an hour to do my hair and it was just ridiculous so i went to my melody susie and this has cut my time down in half because this has such a high airflow i rough dry it and then blow dry it almost completely no i blow dry it completely and then i use my t3 curling iron to curl it and i'm gonna try a new like 50s hairstyle today with a curling iron we'll see but yeah this works like a charm for me it comes with an attachment you can get on amazon for a hundred dollars it was sent to me i did a video with them this part is not sponsored at all but i did a video with them i don't know sometime last year and you can change the heat modes and the speed bow drying extensions like a full-blown workout it is 358 so when did i start 350 I can't remember but point is it takes so much less time for me to blow dry my hair using this Melody Susie and I feel like my hair is healthier because the shark 
there is just so much heat on the highest heat setting and if I don't do the highest heat setting then it just takes even longer and then the curling attachments I like to use the highest heat settings because I really want that curl to last and I feel like it just basically roasts my extensions so I don't know I'm kind of having a love-hate relationship with the shark for the past couple bits I don't know I've just been reaching for my curling iron and my T3 so my hair is like 99% dry like there are some areas where I feel like I might wait another five minutes let it air dry. I've seen a few videos on TikTok. Some of them are much curlier than others. And then they pin it up. But I don't know if I want to pin it up because I don't know if I want it to be that curly. It looks nice from the front, but it's like, what does the back look like? I guess the back is done my business, but this is definitely giving old money vibes. And I'm here for it. That is my hair routine. I use everything from Blake Brown, and I've been loving it. I do wish her products had a heat protectant in it, because I looked at the back, and it looks like they don't. Maybe once I run, a, run out of leave-in potion, I might just substitute that for... Pureology has one, Redken has one. It's a leave-in conditioner with heat protectant in it, so I'd much rather use that. But I do love how her products smell. They all smell so good. But that's kind of my hair care routine for tape and extensions. And some talk on scalp health as well as tape and extension care. Just you want to make sure you are taking care of them. Taking care of your own hair while you have them in. Don't brush too hard. When you go to bed, put it in a braid or something. But thank you guys for hanging out with me in today's video. And I hope to see you guys in future videos.